Michelle, I know I didn't get your cutoff video yesterday because I just got tired and got hectic. I really didn't care. I'm watching one of my friends live on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I was young once. Watching him, but we gotta get I this. Did that. Get this load. Load the scaled, and we gotta get out of here. I went from Detroit. So I've here ten hours ago. All right, we'll be home Monday for the night. And uh, we're gonna and we're gonna truck right out of here. So, uh, I'm gonna go get this scaled out. And, and, uh, we're gonna get out of here. I'm tired. Uh, Anyways, I don't even know how many hours I got. When I got to my car, 29 hours. Even the doors my, uh, not enough time to get home. So uh, but I think we'll be on our eight days here soon. We'll be all right. We'll make it. We'll be all right. Let me pick up three hours, 30 minutes tomorrow, but we pick up four hours, 37 minutes the next day, so we should be all right. I don't know about Tuesday, though. Really don't know about Tuesday. Because I haven't had a reset in a while, huh? They do. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, look. I'm looking at one day. They hit 45. This is what I'm looking at. See? Next three days. Today, tomorrow, and the next day. So, yeah. I should be alright. I should be. I don't know about the fourth day going in, but... I might be short on hours. Oh, boy, they'll change. Why am I going oh, into your vlog? <laughs> I'm a Swift driver and I know how to drive. <laughs> I'm a Balinski driver and I don't know how to drive. <laughs> <coughs> Wasn't talking about that, but anyways. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'll catch you soon, guys. Yeah. 
deter anybody from speeding. I guess. My motorcycle's out today. It is 80 degrees. I ain't even got the AC on. A little rough here in Elizabeth. Please haven't come out yet. place to ride a motorcycle. Stick to the right when you make this curve. about this road. Oh bumpy, they need to resurface the road, man. Yeah, being a little heavier on the trailer makes a difference. We gotta readjust that chamber a little. Drop a hole or two back. Get it more even. Wow, we'll get to living still. We'll run like the wind. Alright. Welcome to Galena. Population 3,500. And no, not Galena in Idaho. Oh, Charlie. Tri State Charlie. Galena, Galena, Galena. We're almost to Iowa. The view could be next. Galena, Galena. Boat for sale. Anybody need a boat? A boat? Yes, there is a boat. I wish I had a way to get these videos uploaded quicker. I have to get some TV, blank DVDs at Walmart and start getting some of them off my computer. I ain't gonna be able to do anymore. Oh, look at that Mustang. So what's what I want? Black? Cobra? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a little downhill here. I wanted to go out to the Oregon coast for my uh, vacation. Ride the train out there. Gonna take the pickup, but yeah, this ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen this year. Pickup needs new tires. At least two of them. Let's take family out on the beach and drive. Don't have the money. Don't have the time either. Wouldn't be so bad. I just tell my wife to meet me in Yakima while we go from there. Next year, that's how I plan. Oh, I got some rattling back there. Guess when I'll find a place to do a walk around. Something oh, no, not right. Here's some rattling. Come back there, you bastard. Gotta find a place to park here. Something is rattling away. Oh, not good to stop on a hill. Something is rattling. 
one of the brake supports was dragging on the ground from the skirt. This is why I say carry your own tools and uh, learn how to fix stuff. Some people would be waiting for a breakdown right now just to come take that thing off. It was dragging on the ground is what it was doing. So I unbolted it.
going to Canada. I kind of miss going to Canada. It'd be nice to go to Canada once. Twice. Yeah, it's going westbound. Oh, lordy. Expect a five mile passing. That's what it's going to take. Five miles. Five miles to pass and what? Now we're full of fuel. We're good to... Oh, it looks like we might have a tailwind, so we might be good to... Uh, and grab a gear here. Rookie drivers. Rookie drivers. He has a million mile thing on his truck. You drive it like a rookie. I want to be a rookie when I grow up. Yes, I do. I don't know what he's doing. Ooh, look, he almost got the guardrail. Oh, that truck keeps going around in circles. Yeah, he's lighter than us. Lightweight. Alright, we'll see you at the end of the day. Unless we get some cool lightning. Storm ahead of us. Yeah, like I said, I'll wash the truck so you know what happens. Alright, see you in Chamberlain. That way the lights don't bother you. Well, CCR, right? Yeah. Well, CCR. Some days never come. That's a good topic. Maybe we should get on it sometime, right? I am in Chamberlain. I have 20 minutes left. 21 minutes left to driving. I didn't do too bad. I got 660 miles in. Could have been better. But yeah, just the way it is, construction. But we made we made our stop. I have my planned stops through here. Rochelle to Chamberlain, Chamberlain to Livingston, uh, and then Livingston to the house or to the yard, whatever comes. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna call this a night. I'm kind of tired, and uh, and uh, I don't know what to talk about. I'm kind of quiet today, I guess. I hope you enjoyed the ride, uh, like every day. It is raining. What did I tell you? Wash the truck. It's gonna rain. It always happens when I hit South Dakota. No matter what. But anyways. It's nice that you guys are here watching. And I enjoy giving you the experience of my job. I know it's, like I said, several times very boring to the other people. But I, I love the drive. So... I'm hitting my burnout point, which, you know, happens. Get burned out. I usually go through this three year cycle. I get burned out. I want to take a month off. I'm going to go back to work. And yeah. So far, I've made it. Kind of made it. Not really. Last year, I kind of burnt out. And, uh, but, uh, we'll be fine. I'll get through it. Vacation is just a couple of weeks away. Thank God I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm not going to get to take the vacation I wanted to give my family. I'm supposed to go to Vegas. But for me to do that, my wife would have to have a vacation time at the same time. And I would need about seven days off. But I do have plans next year. I think what we're going to do is uh, I and my wife meet me in Yakima. We'll jump in one of our rigs. We'll go out to the Oregon coast. We'll probably take the pickup. That way we can drive out on the beach and I won't have to worry about getting stuck. And then uh, probably go catch the Oregon Railroad. Take a ride on that. Enjoy a couple days out on, on the Pacific. One well, of these days I like to drive the whole 101 all the way from Southern California up or from Washington down to Southern California and then just hit the I-15 coming back. 
I'm gonna plan our next year's vacation. And uh, like I said, we'll be the Oregon coast. I'll figure that one out. Uh, so hopefully I'll have new tires. Be able to afford to put new tires on the truck next year. I don't have to worry about it by winter. And then uh, yeah, on our pickup. Our pickup is more roomy for long trips. Take the whole family than into the car. More leg room in the cab much more comfortable too so uh, anyways don't forget to subscribe if uh, like or dislike you can dislike all you want doesn't bother me doesn't bother me at all it means I need to improve to make you guys happy with the videos I'm not as popular as the other others on uh, on YouTube like Chuck or Josh or Allie Knight or the whole night team there, uh, I noticed I've been watching, and uh, Team RG or something like that. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go get edited a video and go to bed. I am behind. I haven't edited in a couple days. I want to see if I can catch up on at least one. Hopefully tomorrow in Livingston, I can uh, get you one up, and then I can get you two more while I'm home up and then we're gonna deliver this load Tuesday at Walmart at 3 o'clock this means I have to leave the house by 8 and hopefully I have the hours I was looking at uh, and it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight but uh, we'll do it we'll be fine anyways good night everybody have a great wonderful night see you tomorrow